In this question, I want to use the divergence theorem to calculate the flux of this given vector field F through M in Newton meters squared. And M is the region that bounds this cube given for X, Y, and Z all between 0 and 3. So this is kind of a rough drawing of what that cube looks like. So to use the divergence theorem, I want to find the divergence of this given vector field F and then integrate it over the volume of M, and that will give me the flux of F through M. So let's go ahead and find the divergence of f. And to do that, I want to take the partial derivative of the i component of the vector with respect to x, add it to the partial derivative of the j component with respect to y, plus the partial derivative of the k component with respect to z. Okay, so x plus y plus e to the z, uh, its derivative with respect to x is just going to be y, e to the z gets treated like a constant, so its derivative is 0, and then xy differentiates to y. Now let's look at the j component. So this time sine of x is going to be treated like a constant, so that drops out, and then the derivative of yz with respect to y is just z. Now let's check out the k component. So this time the inverse tangent of y is going to be treated like a constant, that goes to 0, and then the derivative of xz with respect to z is just going to be x. So I have x plus y plus z as my divergence for f, and now let's go ahead and integrate that. Over the volume of m. And I'm given intervals for x, y, and z. They're all between 0 and 3, and that's going to make my cube. So I'm going to go ahead and set up this integral using those intervals. And since all my bounds of integration are constant, it doesn't matter which order I integrate in. I'm going to go z, then y, then x. And let's go ahead and integrate with respect to z. So I get xz plus yz plus 1 half z squared, and I'm going to evaluate that from z equals 0 to z equals 3. So let's start by plugging in a 3 everywhere I see a z. So I have 3x plus 3y plus 9 halves, and then when I plug in z equals 0, each one of these terms has a multiple of z, so that's actually just going to be 0. And now I'm ready to integrate with respect to y. I'm going to go ahead and move over here and copy over my integral. And let's integrate with respect to y. So I'm going to get 3xy plus 3 halves y squared plus 9 halves y. And again, I'm going to evaluate from 0 to 3. So let's plug in a 3 everywhere I see a y. So I get 9x plus 3 halves times 9, which is 27 halves, plus 9 halves times 3, which again is 27 halves. And then when I plug in y equals 0, each of these terms has a factor of y, so they're all going to be 0. And let's go ahead and combine these fractions before I integrate with respect to x. So 27 halves plus itself, or times 2, is just going to be 27. And now I want to integrate with respect to x. So 9, 9 x is going to become 9 half x squared. And 27 is going to become 27 x. And let's evaluate from x equals 0 to x equals 3. So I'm going to plug in a 3 for every time I see an x. So 
So I have 9 halves times 9 plus 27 times 3. And then when I plug in x equals 0, I just get 0. So I want to add these up. I've got 81 halves plus 81. So that's like 81 halves plus 2 times 81 halves. 3 times 81 over 2. That gives me 243 halves newton meters squared. And that's going to be the flux of F through that given surface M.